YouTube? It's Yaba. And Kari. What's good, y'all? We back with another video. Back with another Make sure you like, video. comment, and subscribe. Hit that bell. Also, follow us on Instagram. It'll be down below. And make sure you keep an eye out for our streaming channel and our gaming channel, guys. It's coming soon. Yeah. Oh, today yeah. we're doing a um we're doing a burnt Chrysler flying dildos. <laughs> Look. They told me this was a running joke, so I get to say this name fucked up as much as I want. So y'all best believe I am never saying this guy's name right ever again. We got a, another birdie castor oil. Um, so, flying dildos. So with that being said, we're going to go ahead and get to the video. Just want to let you guys know, check out my music channel if you like music or hip-hop or pop or anything in that kind of sphere. Um, and let me know if y'all like my music, or, and let me know if y'all like Big Burt. Sorry, I, I, I don't know what's wrong with being big in, the, in, these, in these videos. I'm just going to play it. Yeah. <clears throat> Not safe for work. Well, they kept her in a fucking closet? Are you shitting me? Yeah, yeah. We're like, yeah, the Nazis were looking for her. I go, the fucking Nazis were looking for her? <laughs> How did they not put this in the movie? How did the Nazis not find <laughs> One of my best friends, the host of the Birdcast uh, podcast. Please give it up for Mr. Bird Pressure, everybody. Stand down just a little bit. Okay? Yeah, I am the machine. <laughs> I'm the machine. I'm nursing one of the worst hangovers I've ever had in my fucking life right now. So cheers to Ari, to Comedy Central. I don't read a lot. No oh, for real. Come on. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not like a, okay. I'm smart, but I'm not like a, like, I'm not good with facts and stuff. Uh -huh. Like, I was talking to someone the other day and I realized I'd always thought Anne Frank and Helen Keller were the same person. <laughs> like, Close well into my 20s. <laughs> Do you know where I found out? Where? At the Anne Frank house. Oh my gosh. Do you have any idea what... I I went, okay. <laughs> I backpacked through Europe when I was 22 with these four guys. Three are lawyers, so I can't say their names. The other one's named Weecho. <laughs> and these guys were just fucking nerds. The whole time we were backpacking, they're like, you want to go to like a, the Louvre? Do you want to see David? Do you want, we should take a class and learn about how they cut diamonds so when we get engaged, we could have... I'm like, I, what the fuck is wrong with you guys? We should, we're here to bang Swedish chicks, that's it. Like, uh, are you out of your minds? And then one day they're like... Hey, do you want to go to the Anne Frank house? And I lit up. I was like, fuck yes. <laughs> and they're like, wow, you seem really excited. And I was like, no, we'll get a bag of weed and we'll laugh our dicks off. Uh, oh, buddy. And they're like, really? I go, yeah, I've been hearing jokes about this girl my whole life. <laughs> oh, yeah, hi, put a plunger in the toilet. <laughs> and they're like, what? What? I go, do you get to go into the house? And they're like, yeah, you can go see the closet they kept her in. I go, they kept her in a fucking closet? Oh, my God. Right. Are you shitting me? They're like, yeah, the Nazis were looking for her. I go, the fucking Nazis were looking for her? How did they not put this in the movie? How did the Nazis not find So I get excited, I get a bag of weed, and I'm like, I can't wait to go to the Anne Frank house. <laughs> I'm like, beaming, I'm so pumped up. <laughs> On our walk to the Anne Frank house in Amsterdam, we pass by a sign that says, live sex, live sex, live sex, flying dildos. <laughs> 
And I'm like, all right, suck a silent dick, Anne Frank. Uh-huh. We're going to see flying dildos. Uh-huh. <laughs> we can, well, you're gonna, what are you going to pick? Culture or the Anne Frank house? I'm going with culture. <laughs> so I get us tickets. We all go in. Has anyone ever been to a live sex show? No. One guy in the back. Perfect. It's aggressive. It's a lot creepier than you'd ever think. See, here's the problem with a live sex show. Uh, every show you go to elicits a response. When you come to this show, you know to laugh. When you go to see music, you get inspired. But when you go to a live sex show, the only response is to creep people out. It's just like, oh, maybe I'll get hard. So we go in, we sit down. It's as intimate as this. We mm. light a joint, get to know some of the other fellows, like-minded gentlemen. <laughs> First woman comes up, no fanfare, no no intro music, not even that hot. She's like a sex show six. Mm-hmm. <laughs> comes up, she definitely has another job. Like trust me, it's this intimate. It needs to be. You, it, we are this close, and she just starts oil rigging herself. Just wham. now, listen, I'm not big into foreplay, but total lack of foreplay looks a lot like assault. Okay. Oh my god. And she is going to town, and we're making the same look. Just oh. Which she confuses for, oh, I guess they can't see, and just goes back to performing her gynecological exam on herself. <laughs> now, I have a problem with silence, so I immediately start talking to her. <laughs> and I'm like, do you speak English? Oh, She's like, no. And I was like, fuck. Uh, you're doing a really good job. <laughs> I was like, oh, thank you. And I go, do you do fine dildos? And she's like, no. And I was like, oh, great. Five minutes, five minutes she does this. Five minutes just goes to town on herself. Just, I guess, aggressive. By the end, we're like, uh, we're like, now it's, uh, we're learning shit about the woman's anatomy. <laughs> like, oh, that's her urethra, I think. That's amazing. Oh my God. She gets done, we give her a golf clap. Uh, <laughs> two girls come on stage, and now if this girl was all song, no dance. These girls were all dance, no song. Mm. A lot of foreplay. You can't walk backwards in a story. Like, mm-hmm. I had to stop and go, ladies, ladies, we just watched a woman fist herself. Like, mm-hmm. let's cut to the pink meat, okay? Like, oh my God. They, they're like making out and dying, and now I'm the spokesman. Someone's like, can you get them to hurry it up? And I'm like, sure. I go, do you guys do flying dildos? And they're like, no. I was like, okay, next. And they're like, huh? And we're like, we're good. We've seen what you have to offer. They leave. Mm-hmm. Then. <laughs> A guy and a girl come out. Now, this is where it gets creepy. I'm okay. not a huge feminist, but I believe in women's rights, okay? Mm-hmm. And this guy just starts doing crowd work. He's not even incorporating her in. It's like an improv team where she just sits off to the side like fucking one of Jeff Dunham's dummies. Just... <laughs> and he's like, oh, you guys... This, um, by the way, this is exactly what it feels like. I want you to feel it. You guys ready to see me fuck, huh? <laughs> You wanna see me fuck this shit, man? I fuck it good. It's creeping me out, and it's assaulting my morals. <laughs> and I lean over to my friends, and I go, oh, we should've just gone to the Anne Frank house. <laughs> Which pisses this guy off. He goes, oh, don't bring up Anne Frank in this room, man. And I go, well, I fucking wish I was Anne Frank right now so I didn't have to see this. <laughs> And then he starts arguing with me, but he's arguing with me and getting his dick hard. Like, <laughs> like it's such an, like he's like pulling it going, oh man, don't worry, it gets big. I'm like, not on my watch, it doesn't. <laughs> and I start heckling his dick. I'm like, think about your mom. And he's like, hey, fuck you, buddy. <laughs> I go, do you have any sisters? He's like, hey, not now, man, not now. I go, we, get, we should just go to Anne Frank. And he's like, fuck you, and he storms off. And now the lunatics are running the asylum and I'm their fucking leader. I'm their, I'm like their Rosa Tubbsman. Not fucking Rosa Tubbsman. God damn it. By the way, I am neither Rosa Parks or Harriet Tubman. Rosa Tubbsman. Right. Rosa right. Tubbsman. I know. I can't know. Anyway, right now, right now in heaven, Rosa Parks, Harriet Tubman, Helen Keller, and Anne Frank are going, what the fuck is this guy doing to our names? Oh my God. Helen Keller's like, Arr! I don't know who Helen Keller is. So, I'm gonna have to I'm there, Rosa Tubman. I'm fucking, I'm leading the show, fucking. If I did, if you didn't think I was stupid, 
happened when I started this story? Send out some girl to calm us down and we boo her off stage. We're like, get the fuck out, bitch. We don't want <laughs> Flying dildos, you heard us. Now, then this, okay. Then, let's fucking kill this beer. Yeah. Rosa Tubbs, man. I'm hitting it hard as fuck. The <laughs> woman comes out. German woman, six feet tall, thigh high leather boots, biker's cap, medicine bag. Mm. Pops it on the stool. And goes, gentlemen, please <laughs> calm down. I am flying dildos, and the place goes fucking bananas. <laughs> it looks like the control room in NASA when Apollo 13 landed. Like, oh, we did it! We did it! <laughs> she goes, stop. I will need one volunteer from the audience. And these assholes look at me like, you're up, numb nuts. Yep. <laughs> I fucking get up on stage and I am so excited that I've brought about change. I feel <laughs> like I've accomplished something in my life. I'm literally look at my constituents like, you said you want to change. I, I, I didn't say that probably, but I was like, fuck, whatever I said. I'm Rosa Cubsman. And I don't even realize her putting a handcuff on me. And when the second one goes on, I go, hey, maybe we should talk about how flying dildos works. Yeah. <laughs> now you I feel like I'm in the dark on this one. And she does not have like happy eyes look on her face and sweeps my legs in like a karate kid move, just and I land hard. I land so hard I knock the wind out of myself. And let me tell you something about when you knock the wind, that's a real fucking noise. Just mm -hmm. hey. it is so real and real respects real. When you hear that, you're like, oh fuck. Oh, hey. She tears my pants off me and my dick pops out of my boxers unprepared, gentlemen. <laughs> I look at my best friend Weicho and I go, poke it back in. <laughs> He's like, I will not be doing that. And then the air is removed out of the room, and I hear some guy go, fucking do it! And I'm like, what? I look up, this woman is straddling my face with a 12-inch black dildo, and excalibers it into my mouth. Oh! <laughs> Gentlemen, you have a game time decision to make. Oh my God! What do you do in that situation? Do you purse your lips, close your teeth, and hope to block the shot? <laughs> Could lose your front canines. <laughs> Or do you acquiesce and open up and let her go yard in your jaw? <laughs> I chose the latter. <laughs> she went eight inches into my throat, just <laughs> Now I'm gagging, the wind's knocked out of me, my dick's popping out, I'm wiggling like the very last unicorn. <laughs> And she looks at the guys and says, gentlemen, get your cameras and line up to get a picture with flying dildos. These turncoats line up like they're meeting the fucking queen. They're like, oh, I can't wait. And everyone takes a picture with me. The point of my story, the reason I told it to you is if you, if you ever go to Amsterdam, just go to the Anne Frank house. Thank you. Second, first of all, don't leave your shirt <laughs> before you leave. Second of all, did you ever go to the Anne Frank house? Oh, yeah. So, <laughs> Let's go. I, was a, <clears throat> I was a little rattled after the whole Flying Dildos experience. And, uh, <laughs> but all the guys in the room thought I was the greatest guy ever. It was like killing in a comedy club. And they, I could walk out, and they're all, it's three football players from UCF, three French Canadians, a dude from Tennessee and a guy from Australia and, and my four friends and they're like we would do anything with you and I was like well I could use some cheering up let's go to the Anne Frank house <laughs> so, 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 so I, uh, <laughs> that's not a cheering up plan of place no, 
Thank you so much for this. <laughs> oh my so God. So we get the highest giraffe pussy. Uh huh. And go to the Anne Frank house. And all I'm doing the whole time is telling Helen Keller jokes. I'm like, I'm like leaning up to him, going like, you know she had a dog, right? No. And they're like, really? How do you know so much about I'm Frank? Yeah. I'm like, he ran away. And they're like, he ran away? I was like, well, you would too if your name was. We go in the kitchen, and I'm like, oh, here's where she burned her fingers. And they're like, what? Yeah, she tried to read her waffle iron. And this lady in front of us. <laughs> this, and mind you, I'm high as fuck. This lady. No one's going to tell you, like, that's not the right person. Lady turns around and goes, are you making Helen Keller jokes? <laughs> Ari, Ari, I realize at that moment that we're not in Helen Keller's house. <laughs> The word of the Anne Frank house, and I don't know who the fuck she is. <laughs> oh my God. And these guys see it in my eyes, and 12 dudes fall apart as high as fuck in a Holocaust museum. Oh my God. And that is the best laugh you can have, is when you're not supposed to laugh. When you're yeah. like, Durr, Durr, Durr. And I'm putting all the pieces together, like, oh, I think I was thinking of Ann Sullivan. <laughs> <laughs> Shit. Oh, yeah, yeah, this is the wrong one. I go, what happened to this girl? <laughs> she didn't invent Braille. She <laughs> didn't invent Braille. No. <laughs> no. Oh, that's it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. So, that's nice. It's that after fact oh that he figured goodness. it out, and it, it was somebody at the house that had to tell him, like, you have tears in your eyes. You know that shit, right? Tears, like full on tears in your eyeballs. <sighs> Y'all, it's the fact that Dang. the lady had to catch what. Why didn't they tell him? And he's with lawyers, so are y'all not smart enough to listen? To they knew, together? but they didn't know that he. They thought that he knew, and he was just like comparing them, I guess. Oh my gosh, that is so funny. And honestly, I thought it was done. I said, ah, uh, does it? I, I'm not even gonna like try to be like a weirdo, like, but like, where's the picture, bro? <laughs> Probably still we circulating got all the pictures, bro. The machine was true, so I'm, 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 I'm. This one's true too, so that means we got at least fifteen people with pictures. He probably paid all of them. He was like, deleted. I need an NDA. Here you go. Do not share this photo with him. <laughs> <laughs> You're bonded for life. Oh my after god! That, and that, oh, that's he kept oh asking for flying dildos and he did not know what it was. He did not know what it was. Bert. Oh my gosh, he's probably so much fun to party with, y'all. Yeah, yeah. I, unless he you go you to somewhere some where shit, you though. get some flying dildos and you accidentally get some stuck in your mouth. He gonna get you into some shit though. Yeah, I, I can't do it. Mm -mm. I, I, I would like to party with you, Bert, but I feel like. You know, I, I can't relive these experiences. I'm going to die, bro. I mean. Hey, and I think he's from Cincinnati. Really? Mm-hmm. Oh, tough. tough oh, tough. no, no, no. That's Tom Segura. <laughs> <laughs> Tom is his friend, though. You know that, right? Tom is his friend. I just didn't Him and say Tom are shit friends. Did, really? Tom and, Tom and Burn Crystal's his friend. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, I'll see you later, Burt. And, you know, hit up Tom for me. Tell him, tell him, tell him that Kari and Yaba said hi. I don't, I don't know if we would love some tickets to your show, Tom. Oh yeah, Tom, you're you're coming to you know our city, and we're gonna definitely try to um to get some tickets to your show, um for all of the, our synonymous. I don't know what that means for y'all, but we'll tell y'all about the show. Yeah, yeah. But with that being said, we love you guys. See you guys later. Like, comment, subscribe. Let you, let us know how you like the video. Tongue tied about everything, blah blah blah. Somebody find me the photo, all that good stuff. Love you very much. Bye. Mwah. Bye.